Bulls sport somewhat of a new look. They have some young players they are very high on, and we chatted with Doug Collins prior to the ball game. One of them being introduced now, Scott Pippen, a little-known college player. A lot of people wondered whether he would stay with this ball club, whether he would make the team. And here's the starting Chicago lineup. Bulls. At forward from Ohio State, number six, Brad Sellers. At forward from Virginia Union, number 34, Charles From Notre Dame, number five, John Paxson. From North Carolina, Okay, for <laughs> the Chicago Bulls, Brad Sellers, Charles Oakley, Artis Gilmore, John Paxson, and Michael Jordan in the back. The officials. Jess Thompson and Hugh Hollins. And they bounce the ball to Mo Cheeks to take a look at it. And who better? He played very well last night. Oh, listen, Mo not only had the 10 assists, but he had five key steals along with his 15 points. I thought it was a, a beautiful, well-rounded exhibition by all five starters. Here's the tap, and it's won by Philadelphia. Charles holds it at the time along with Hubie Brown. Wingate. You can still see the right wrist very heavily taped, but he played well last night. Five seconds Jordan on a shot. A double team man off of David Wingate onto Barkley. Here is Cheeks burying one from outside. Ball game. One minute gone. Maurice against Paxson. It was Wingate around the top off of McCormick. Cheeks thought about it. Three seconds, three. And has to pull the trigger and rattles it home. Wingate off the elbow on the left side, and he sticks one. Well, if the perimeter game is going good early, oh, what a move. Jordan flying to the hole and missing the dribble on Wingate. Jordan doubled. Paxson is the open man. Despite all his body contact and develop something. The guards are doing an excellent job right now hitting the perimeter shots. Wingate, a running right-hander that doesn't go, and Gilmore the rebound. But they couldn't get it to it. Barkley for Wingate. Eight on the shot clock. David, another running right-hander that won't fall, and Sellers the rebound. Flicked up the right side. Jordan Stutter steps in, running, scooping, and scoring. The first time he went to his right, though. Charles, good feed inside. McCormick's shot won't go at point blank range. Here comes Jordan again. The air show. Well, didn't get started that time. Well, that did good away. help. Good help that time by the Sixers. Corzine was at the scorer's table waiting to get in the game. Gilmore picks up his third. Three on artist Gilmore, and we still have 7-18 left to play. There's a look at Dave Corzine. Out backs at AO3 against Mo Cheeks. They know each other well. You know, when he made the first four, now the percentage is bounding off. This is Jordan. He loses Wingate for a moment in the air and then kicks it out to Sellers, who fires, misses oh, this trap that time, and the other two are playing man to man. That's why that opened up. Wingate from outside again. No again. The rebound, Jordan. Michael Jordan behind his back once and then to three back to Jordan and he jammed for the right hand. Great break that time. That time Jordan looked like Charles on the break. The old story, when you give it up, you'll get it back if you keep cutting. Now on the baseline there, there was a screen across and as Hinson came to post up, Michael Jordan hit him with a forearm. And Henson at the free throw line. Brains checks in. And Charles Barkley comes out. Last night, Roy was three for five from the foul line. Had a great game on the boards. 12 rebounds. 
And he makes a pair here. Here's the six of press now. Two, two, one. They get it up to Corzine. Back to Jordan. He goes up, scores, and he's fouled. His hang time is so long that there's very little that you can do other than fouling. See, once the ball goes to the corner against the trap, you are vulnerable in the middle of the floor if they can get the ball back to an explosive player. And that's what happened that time. Because once he made the catch, you knew he was going to the rim strong. Jordan gets the bottom in. And it's 17-14. Stadium in Chicago has cheeks. Works on Sedale, three. Dump down to Henson, back to Cheeks, and nearly lost, and now it is. Three to Jordan, good night. Three-point play. That was all started by Jordan. Anticipating the pass, back to Cheeks, it was wide open. Here he comes, you see him? Now he came all the way from that corner. And he continues. Now, we, the Sixers get great defense here right there. David chases them. The only trouble is the strength factor. He led the Bulls with 125 block shots last year. That time, just anticipating well, jumped into the passing lane and created the turnover. And now the timeout taken by Philadelphia. 19-14 Chicago lead back right after this. McCormick one shot. See, they... They cannot establish any inside game as of right now. Jordan with another steal. Baseline three. Not this time. Steel pump with Hubie Brown. Cheeks for Wingate. Well, as Hubie has said before, there's a running right-hander by Wingate. He knocked it down and was fouled as well. It'll count on the continuation, but it's Hubie's... Time. Wingate gets the bottom end of the three-point play, and it's a 21-17 Chicago lead. And they have the basketball. Ooh. That was close to being over and back. Sixers and Scotty Pippen comes on for the Chicago Bulls, but first the technical free throw. Now, see, I could buy that. Uh, uh, Bulls ball movement has been very good here in the closing stages of this first quarter. A minute, They're going to get caught left. again. Welp doesn't have a man. Outside, the jumper good by Corzine. And again, the skip pass right across the top. And Corzine was the open man. Three just nodded him away and brings it up against Mo Cheeks. 41 seconds left in the period. This is Pippen. And he threw it away right into the hands of Vincent Askew. With three Grant seconds Pippen. left, here comes Horace Grant, another one of the Chicago youngsters out of Clemson. 6'10", 220 pounds. They're very high on him as they are on Scotty Pippen. Well, unfortunately for Grant, he did not settle his contract, and he missed at least six exhibition games. So he is behind everyone else. But the young man is blessed with a lot of talent. This is Pippen. Little dribble handoff outside. They run it, and three dishes nicely baseline. Pippen had it blocked, picked well, up by Well, he throw. wants to leave right because they double team and he didn't have the ball. Barkley That's... pounds it home in the middle. That's just brute strength right there. Well, see, they must go to Charles right now against this group. Charles has got to take over the game here right now for about three or four minutes because there isn't anyone out there that can guard him. Here's the little weave again. It's Pippen. He knocks Brains to the deck, fires, misses, Brains the rebound. See, believe it or not, Pippen is not a good field goal uh, percent shooter. He's really not. He's a great athlete. Holter nearly intercepted, but Paxson able to handle it. Grant, and that's stolen. Here comes Charles, and Paxson better get out of his way. He does, <laughs> and Charles will pound it home with two hands. Paxson, when he got to the timeline and realized who was coming at him, he said, that's all right, pal, go on. Pippen at very long range. Pounds the dribble. Now unloads the jumper from the top and bricked it. Grant tried to save it, and it's out of bounds. See, the main thing when you play a group like this that's trying to just weave the basketball, just lay off them. This is Barkley. And Grant reached in and stole it. Here comes Jordan. The bounce to Pippen, the layup there. 33-25. The Sixers have to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Here's Wingate, and that's off the mark. Charles, strong rebound. Back up. Nope, off the heel of the rim, but he'll get to the line.
35-27. Charles makes the first, 35-28. But the, as you pointed out, Hubie, the Sixers have got to get something out of almost each possession now. Yeah. Last night, Charles was eight for nine on the, on the free throw line. Now they're going to match up and play man to man. They got it to the middle, though, and drive in, and the layup by Jordan is good. He can do so many things, he makes it look easy. Wingate rolls one in off the glass as he knifed in from right to left. Here comes Jordan again. Back to Jordan. He windmills one up, misses, but the follow is good by Corzine. Well, you can remember two years ago when all they did was boo Dave Corzine in this building. Well, you, if you notice now, every time that Jordan is in the middle, passes to the wing, and goes back, they give it right back to him. Oh, that was a that that, that was some shot Barkley just hit Pippen with. I'll tell you, he just caught him with an elbow. Cleared now, him out with a with with some elbow to the to the face. Charles averaged 25.9 points per game and 10.3 rebounds during the preseason. Or rather, Pippen tipped it away and got it to Jordan. Now they. They throw it away. It's a track meet now. Here comes Charles. Charles pumped it. They didn't call that. He double pumps and scores. <laughs> well, he did carry seven that foot one. off the floor. Charles cradled that one at seven foot off the floor. Timeout. Chicago. A timeout taken. Bulls inbound. They got it in the middle to Jordan, and he banked it in off balance, leaping leaner. We've played five minutes this quarter, and the Bulls are seven for seven from the field. Here come the Bulls again with a turnover. Pippen running in, and he's stripped but foul. Stevie Coulter is the uh, Sixers' 10th turnover. And we still have... Now, we can talk about turnovers all you want. If nothing happens, that's set up. Wingate fires. Not great shot Sheets. selection. McCormick bounce to the left side of Barkley. Long range, got up in the air. Now, the fake Wingate fires off balance and scores anyway. Wingate, pick and roll to McCormick. The nice. layup's good. Nice pass. Now, for all you youngsters who are out there who are only six foot one going to college in your freshman year, Scotty Pippen was the manager at Central Arkansas at six foot one. And then grew into a number five first round draft pick. Here's the travel. It's going to be, well, it's going to be a three-second violation rather than the travel, although both occurred. Or play in a physical game like this. You've got to be able to keep the ball alive and do your job. Well, there wasn't any question there. Charles wanted it. He got it. He scored. The beautiful thing about that rebound by Charles was when he hit, he came back and switched hands with the ball from his right to the left and laid it up beautiful. If he would have kept the ball in the right hand, the uh, Bulls actually had a chance to block that shot. Charles makes the free throw, completes the three-point play. In Chicago. Pippen, dribble drive, nope, strip. Here comes Henson to three Barkley. To Cheeks, Mo goes up, no. Barkley's rebound, back up and good. And Maddie screaming for a foul on the drive but by Henson Cheeks. must get involved. He's 0 for 1 from the field, and the big thing is, is the one opportunity. Here's Corzine inside from Michael Jordan. Nope, and that's the rebound by Henson. He threw it away. Jumping into the passing lane was Michael Jordan, and Charles just grabbed him, didn't want him to get off and dunk again. Michael Jordan, during the exhibition, shot 93% on the foul line. 89 for 96 in nine games. And you know what's big about that? He gets there a ton of times <laughs> because of the kind of player he is. You That's know, if he was like uh, two for three every game or something. Right. Here's Henson. No. And there he is right again. Into the, into the passing lane. Here comes Jordan. Down the lane. Finger roll. Got it. And he fouled. He'll that is basket. his third three-point field goal off of a steal. Just think about that a second. Watch him again. You see, he's coming from the other corner. The player who's open at the top of the circle just cannot stand there. You've got to move to the, the ball. Three men from the other corner that you are closing the passing lane. Closing it down. Jakes. Wingate from outside. Nope. And the rebound snapped down by Michael Jordan. Lead pass ahead. The rebound, Grant. And he missed it, but a foul was called. They are really active. And then their second major issue is how good they are.
as Hubie indicated, missed a lot of training camp, so behind the other young players. That stuck with the Bulls. If you notice what the Bulls are also doing on when there's a rebound, and, and, and it's questionable at one end of the floor, at, at the Sixers' end, Jordan will leave, and he goes down the floor, and they get it up to him, and they give him a one-on-one, one-on-two. -on -one, one -on so what? Why not? There's the score up on the board in the second quarter. I don't know if it's a misprint, but Indiana has 72 points to New York's 44 in the second quarter. Is that the same group that we saw last night? I, maybe, maybe, not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe <laughs> not. It's amazing what a sellout home crowd will do for you. Turnaround baseline uh, on the rim. Nope, but the rebound back up by Michael, and he is fouled. He'll get back to There are the very few things which he has not done tonight. <laughs> is there any category that he doesn't have? Michael Jordan led the NBA in scoring a year ago. Makes the first free throw here. The thing which is so underrated about this young man, they appreciate his passing, but no one ever talks about his block shots, his steals, and his overall defense. Now, he has done some damage by stealing the the ball from the Sixers tonight. This is Cheeks against three. Wingate. Nearly stolen again underneath, and it is stolen. That was excellent help that time by Brains jumping out. Double screen on the baseline. And Jordan, nothing but net. Jordan with a big first half, and the Bulls lead it 60-45 with a minute left. Wingate. They isolate him. He drives, goes up, blocked, and out of bounds. Uh, he had no idea. Yeah, well, neither one you know, of them did. Right, he, he looked at him, and, uh, and and the fact that when Wingate went up, the second guy who rotated. Wingate, for Cheeks. Rainbow, and he poured it in. Pippen, dribble drive, kicks it off for Grant, and an offensive foul. See, Wolf out there again. I tell you, he does an excellent job at helping out in the lane. This is Jordan. Picked up by Henson and now left for Wingate. 15 seconds for the quarter. 12 on the shot clock. Jordan in the air. Dishes and the jumper off the glass is good. By Grant. We need to put together a solid run here as we begin the third period. Jordan in the air, the finger roll. Nope, the follow is good. 64 49, and Michael Jordan has had a big, big night already. We're just underway in the third. David Wingate. There's a carry. Sure. Tried to stutter step his way to the baseline. And you know, you forget he's seven foot. Wingate from outside, and he buries that. There's the pass across the top to Maurice. Hits the heel of the rim heavy and bounces away. Jordan, three on two, break. Paxson back to Oakley in the layup. Good, and you can't execute it much better than uh, that. Off the break. That was beautiful. Uh, Harry Donahue in the postgame show. Bo Cheeks. Henson. Now, he's got to, st to start lighting Henson on the wing. Free throw line extended right. McCormick. And there, there's Jordan. He jumped right in the passing lane. Again. 17, Philadelphia. Henson got caught in the air and had no place to go with it. Athletic ability up front is fantastic. There's Cheeks from the perimeter. He knocked it down. Here come the Bulls to Jordan. He runs in. The layup's good. Well, he just releases and... Charles one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, great crossover dribble, and he's fouled, and he will get to the line. He about turned Oakley around. He did. That's Gilmore's fourth. You know, you watch this great move. Now, here comes Gilmore on the move. Strong move by Charles. Really strong. Charles, leading scorer and rebounder during the preseason for the Sixers. One of the co-captains. Along with Gilmore at 7-2. Oakley, one of the best rebounders and in the league. And they still have Corzine as your backup at 7 foot. You're talking about some guys who can play. 76-57. As Jordan, with a belt high dribble, leaves it for Paxson. Now Jordan, he's posted, turns, fires, short. Excellent rebound, job. Rebound, Charles. Askew, excellent job. Four on two, Barkley to Askew, and the layup's good. Make him go like one for five, two for seven, something like that, and then do something at the other end of the floor. Jordan, brains for Askew. Now Charles, good look, and he got Askew, couldn't get it to fall. Paxson gunned up the right side. There's the man. 
Michael 17 Jordan. a game in the exhibitions, but you know, 15 is outstanding. Uh, you you start talking about 17, 18 offensive rebounds a game, you're murder. You'll be right there. It's the best in the league. And there's Jordan again deflecting it away from Roy Henson and out of bounds. But Jordan very active defensively. Around the screen, Jordan trying to go up. Nope. Sixers want to run. Barkley into the lane and a block on Paxson. Now that was a case where Paxson should have uh, a little confused for a moment. Barkley inside and staggers around in the lane. And is this going to be on Oakley? Oakley. And express, the, and express, you know, an anger and everything. See, here's Pippen entering the ball game right now. If you notice the Bulls, like I told you at the top, any low post play, the hands go on your lower back first. Then when their hands go up in the air, they're getting you and guarding you with their legs. They're right up against your okay. legs. Oakley against Barkley. Oh, great move to the basket, and then he had it slapped off the glass. Coulter running. It's three on two to Barkley, and he hammers it home. That was a beautiful pass by Coulter. Beautiful. Off one bounce by Roy Henson. Askew, a leaping leaner off the glass. Well, this young man possesses a beautiful, soft touch, and he's excellent from the wing. 84-66, three against the trap. Bulls trying to spread the floor now. Here's Grant, wide open baseline on the rim. Nope, and the rebound, Danny Brown. Vincent Askew, Barkley. One on three, and nope, and Brains follows. Oh, what a shot. Incredible rebound shot. See, this is a good group to yeah. trap. Excellent group to trap. Now they're scrambling around. This is Grant, the other baseline, and the right, same right result. Right there, you, you into a 14-point game. You're not that bad off. You still have another quarter to play. Three for Pippen. Bingo. Nothing. Nothing together I, here. And Sinaskia, given ground by Pippen, thought about it, didn't. Now he beats him into nice the lane, move. goes up, and it's short, but he'll get to the Pippen line. Pippen made his move defensively to come up to try to block the shot. Askew went right by him off the dribble. Here comes Jordan back in. Askew averaged 9.3 points per game in six. Washington and Boston are in double overtime. Three, Jordan, Pippen, Corzine, and Oakley. Here's a steal. Barkley jumped into the passing lane right in front of Michael Jordan to cold Uri. Finger rolls one up. Seven minutes left to play for your ball game. Barkley. They swing it to the right side. Colder. Flips it out. Barkley for three. The home run. Kaboom. Three point field goal. Charles Barkley. Charles with the home run. Three. three. For Jordan. He's their go-to guy. And here he comes along the baseline. Oh. With three defenders playing him pretty well, he was still able to slip between them. He had to double clutch, knocked it in off the glass. Not only that, but he jumped back in because he was behind the backboard. 14 and under to receive a Charles Barkley t-shirt, courtesy of Discovered Card. Another three. Charles with a pair of three-point field goals. 90-77. Yep. Now Charles trying to keep him in it. Well, and then 13 point spread, really, with nine and a half to go. Here's Jordan from outside. Uh, 15 point spread. Jordan off the left wing. Now, see if they look to go to Charles again. He's trying to make something happen, but he's going to need some help. There's a little two man game right there Wingate and Charles. Charles fronted now by Jordan. Now he's got him on his back, driving Wingate, scoops and scores. Nicely done. Back to the 13-point advantage. Jordan Paxson's all alone at the top. And nope, wouldn't go. This time Charles has Oakley on him. Now Charles spinning and twisting. Has to kick it back outside and it's stolen. Pippen will run all the way in and jam with two hands. Now Pippen did what Michael Jordan has been doing most of the evening. Well, here comes one gate. He pops out this time on the left side. Ooh, great crossover dribble. And tough luck on the shot. Porzine, Pippen, and he fumbled it out of bounds. Took his eye off it. Tried to do something with it before he caught it. You know, they keep giving the 76ers an opportunity to come back. 
Tigers have got to take advantage. Oakley, baseline, Sellers. Back to Oakley. Good muscle job, but blocked off the glass. Charles, like a freight train, shovels and then takes the return pass and scores. And a foul. Charles makes the free throw, completes the three point play. He's got three, six, eight, nine. Early on here is Paxson being chased. And then Oakley fumbled it and it's out of bounds. So they can cut it to eight. This is Henson for Charles. Barkley behind his back, down the lane, and has it blocked. Corzine got there. Super move by Charles, but... That's right. He never left his feet. He made Charles commit. Paxson for Jordan. Jordan. That jumper is good. See, I expect him to get the ball every time now until the game is decided. Charles. There's a clear out. For Chixie, and he... Seven, uh, eight seconds, eight seconds, plenty of time. Charles down the lane. Good move and scores. Well, he was determined. He just took on their entire five-man defense on that play. I go as they inbound. This is Jordan. Good move. The square up, and he scores. Now, just think about it now. Their last one. Coulter, Charles, thinking about it. Now drives. Beats Four. it. Great move by Charles again, splitting the defender. Not the shot, and they inbounded. Sellers. Nope. Oh, oh. Pippen. Came flashing down the lane. He knifed in and just pounded it home with one hand as it bounced high off the rim. 100 to 88. Here's a little dribble handoff for Jordan. Here he comes again. That time he got caught in heavy traffic. Well, Wingate got him that time with a you know, pretty good shot. There's a clear out. Hanson now Cheeks gets down and trapped him in the corner back for Sellers. They're trying to run some clock if they can. Here's Barkley with a steal. Paxton chases him, but he won't catch him. And Charles. Here goes the press now. The Bulls head coach to call a couple See, of times. This is the perfect guy to foul. Pippen is a very poor foul shooter. Uh, during the exhibition season, he only shot 54% from the foul line. This was a good foul. And Charles just wrapped him up with 44 seconds left, 100 to 92. Pippen. And true to form. That was a big miss. Stevie Coulter comes on. Roy Henson will sit down. Now we have 44 seconds to go here. He misses both of these. You know, you're still in an eight-point game. Anything can happen. Uh, you know, at the other end on it, this is a big possession for the Sixers right off of this one. Another and he, he bricked that, and Charles claims the rebound. So he missed a pair. Barkley waves his teammates away. One in the lane and lost it off his leg. Pippen, and they want him to, they want to foul Pippen, but no, it's Michael Jordan, and he can. Timeout. 102-92, and we're going to stay here with 29 seconds left. Now, Charles, good rebound, brought it up the floor and then fumbled it away. Uh, as Charles was coming up the floor, he cleared the side. He wanted to go one-on-one. -on -one. Unfortunately, when he made his reverse pivot, he did not see him step up. Watch how Jordan goes here now. See, he's playing him tough. As the move, see him step back. Now he's going to make his move because on that spin move, he didn't let him get a piece of his body. And he makes the first. No, and then finally Velp able to finish it off. And the ball game is over.